Hi friends, this is a small video on NLP anchoring. Just think of any one memory of you pertaining to the past. The past memory triggers negative or positive emotions. Most of the anchors are often created unconsciously like the memory of the past or even when you think of a sweet you get an output saliva unconsciously created. So anchoring is linking a specific behavior emotional or physiological state to a specific trigger. When I am talking about this, really you would be remembering the Pablo classical condition. Anchoring in NLP is something different and productive in approach. In NLP, we create a trigger which will anchor whatever emotion you need, let it be self-confidence or self-esteem. By using NLP anchoring, you can program your emotional and physical component to do anything to reach excellence. Anchoring uses the representational systems visual, auditory, kinesthetic and auditory digital. To anchor we use visual, auditory, kinesthetic and auditory digital that is the language which we speak within ourselves. We recollect the physiological process and the behavior which we do through internal representations and we create a program to anchor a specific behavior. So the step is first recollect your desired state, the moment you felt you have succeeded in life, the moment you felt top of the world. We use I turn to intensify the anchoring process so that the moment you trigger you feel the heightened awareness state which can take you to success by doing this NLP anchoring we can be in a resourceful state in any situation let your kinesthetic auditory, visual and auditory digital be as heightened as possible so that it triggers the specified emotion. By doing and practicing anchoring we can achieve the desired state at any point of time. Anchoring is used in sports, education and in all the fields. Follow the steps and play the audio given a care. 
feel the power of anchoring by practicing it daily at least for a minimum period of 7 days.